Hey, 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 guys. Welcome back to the new King Star Cars episode. So last time, Team Body Switch was up for elimination. Chip Gearns ended up getting eliminated. And then we did a bottle pushing challenge, which in that case, Team Cowevers got first place. Team Brick got second, and... Oh, wait, I meant Team Body Swift got second. And then Team Brick Yardley finally lost her streak, and got third place and was up for elimination. Now, depending on what happens today, who will get eliminated? What will happen in today's challenge? Will things go cuckoo crazy? Find out on this spectacular episode of Camp Stock Cars. <coughs> A TV show created by CNR. Sorry, I'm so speechless right now. But anyways, I'm speechless because the sun is so hot outside. Take a look for yourself. It's so hot, man. Why is it so hot outside? I've never even been this hot before. It's like 32 degrees out here. Literally. I could become melted chocolate by the end of the day. Melted chocolate, but you're an easy at a car, aren't you? That's true, but I don't want to burn in the heat. God dang, does anyone know what's going on out here? No, I don't really know what's going on right now. I'm so hot, it's not fair. Tell me about it. Oh my god. Why does it have to be us? burning in the sun. I just wish we could cool off in Roscoe's new built house over there. <sighs> now this is relaxing and I like it. I know, right? I can't handle this heat anymore. It's so hot. We gotta do something about this man. Nirvana! Water. Oh, wait a second. What is that over there? Looks like. Wait a second, you guys. I don't think that's just water. I think that's an entire ocean. The ocean. An entire ocean. An ocean? Okay. That is something I would really like to see. Well then. Let's have some fun. Yeah! 20 minutes later. <laughs> I wonder what's happening right now. Stock cars and space creatures. It's like 32 degrees out here. You tell me. Do you guys feel any difference out here? No, if anything, huge. How about this one? feel so much better. If anything, I think you're gonna lose this match, Cal and Ralph. Oh, yeah. No way. You guys are probably gonna think more than we will. Jeez Louise, what is happening out here right now? Oh my god. Jesus, it's like a freaking heat wave out here. I'm so hot, I don't even know where I'm supposed to crawl. Literally, you guys like 
why is the sun doing its job today? Like, why not a few days ago? Oh, shoot, the sun's burning me. Oh, gosh darn it. Caillou loved playing on the playground treehouse. He was having so much fun. Jeez, Louise, what is happening out here? Can you recover freaking Brian, please? They died. Okay, you guys. Man, that feels so much better now. You guys ready for this next one? It's gonna go super hard. Uh, wait a second, call don't. Why are you I, I told you not to go so hard. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Are you okay, Cal? Yeah, I'm fine. I think that volleyball is too hard. Good call, boy. That I actually does feel a little bit hard. Oh, right. Team Brick, sorry to interrupt your fun, but we gotta do the elimination ceremony. And, uh, before we start, what happened to Cal? Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, I had a seizure because of that volleyball. Why can't we just do the elimination here instead, Roscoe? Fight, fight. But that means I get to wear this baby again since day seven. Well, I don't understand. At least we don't have to do that stupid cowbell again. Yeah, I guess. Of course. How did you even manage to find that cowbell anyways? I only found it because I thought it, because I thought it fell onto the ground. And then I saw it actually belonged to one of the tractors instead. So that's just, you know. Wait. So you found it from that tractor over there? Oh yeah, of course I did. Where else would you pick that fight from? That's nice. I'm glad we are, are able to give it back to that tractor and not towards Ernie. Sorry to interrupt your conversation, guys, but there's no going over towards that now. <laughs> Welcome, Team Hard Metal Bricks. So you guys haven't lost in a while. I think your last one we lost was like, Jimmy, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, so, this time around, 53 people voted for who should get eliminated. 53 votes? Um, oh my god. Oh my god, how is that possible? You know, one time the votes went down, but I, but I didn't care about that. So, I'm surprised how you people know. Would have been 52, but someone actually did a body at the last minute. Oh man, I wish we got to 52, 52 votes, votes because that's my number, and 52 is my favorite number. Why is it because 52 is your favorite number, Brian? Yes, Tommy, yes, it is. Now, anyways, let's go on to the people who are safe. Dot Fodderman, I'm honestly kind of surprised to say this, but you're the first person to with zero votes, which is about time. Really? He is the first one safe? God, when will I ever be the first one to be safe? Yes! 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 Jesus. Jesus. Cranberries. Parker Brinkson, you're also safe with zero votes. <laughs> Congratulations! Yes! They're finally up! I gotta say, I'm really surprised how Dud's overreacting. But it's his first time getting zero votes. Is it actually? Yes. Well, that explains it then. That's kind of surprising. Well, I'll be zero votes. Wow! I really gotta say, you gotta calm yourself down, boy. But, you know, I can't, I, I can't argue with that. So, Dad and Parker, oh, I forgot to get the prizes. What are they? Today's prizes are marbles, because recently I've seen marble channels, and I think they look cool. So, here's yours, Dad, red marble of joy, and here's yours, Parker, the closest I could get to purple. Now, anyways, five voltages, you're safe for free votes. Wow, huh. <sighs> At least I got less than last time, I guess. Huh, I don't even know what to say right now. Now, as for the rest of you guys, 
Tommy, this is your first time in the bottom four. Same with you, Terry. Anyways, Tommy Highbanks, you're the next person to see for eight votes. Oh, come on, really? How come my votes keep increasing or my plans just not working out the way they used to be? Whatever, at least I'm safe. True that. Now, Brian Spark, Terry Carlos, and Brick Yardley. Out of you three, Brick Yardley is safe with 11 votes. Ah, oh, sweet. That's cool. Oh. And there's a little twist. For the bottom two people, you will sit out in the sun. Whoever gets the most votes here will be eliminated. Is it just me, or is it really just so hot outside right now? And I'm so sweaty. I'm literally running low on gas. We know, for God's sakes. Um. Terry, you're in the bottom two. Wait, what? Bottom two? Oh my god, this is much hate? What do I do? What have I done? Nothing, but it's time to show the votes. Guess what? Good news, Terry Cargus, you're safe with 14 votes. Brian Spark, bye bye. What? Eliminated? That's, ri but that's ridiculous. ridiculous. How could I get out this early? You didn't even get out early at all. Hey, well, you made it 11 days here. I guess that's it for me, isn't it? Okay. Yes, that is. Before I go, I know I forgot to push the boulder off the mountain because the rest of you were up there and then I slipped and then it hit the bottom again. And I'm sorry for that. I don't really have anything else to say, so I guess I'm ready to go. Well then, Brian, I think it's time we say the word. Wait, what? Terry forgot to say his safe words. Go ahead, Terry. You may begin now. Oh my gosh, I was so worried. Thank goodness I'm safe. But really, vote? I don't understand. Is it my sponsor? Could be. Now, Brian, you're eliminated because you have lots of chips. Do you want me to push you over? Hmm? I don't care what you do! Oh, I'll do it! Oh, uh, wait, we gotta fix the slide first. If Jimmy asks you what have you done, tell him, Toodles! I got hit by a baseball! Toodles! <laughs> you got hit by a baseball? That was a good reference. Anyways, Brian, Toodles! <laughs> now let me get to be on my part. There are now 17 of you guys left. As for your challenge today, there, there will be four specific people I would like you to meet. And you'll have to learn a way to become friends with these four people. So recently we lost Chip Gearings and Brian Spark because they both got eliminated. I can't say I'm overly surprised about Chip getting eliminated. Well, usually these kind of things happen when someone causes us the challenge. They usually ended up getting eliminated, like Quagmire did when he was on The Bachelor. Oh, uh, hey, <laughs> forgot about you guys. <laughs> well, <laughs> I guess the date's over. <laughs> Good night, Brooke. Thanks for a lovely evening. First team, oh wait, we're okay, we're following the hands schedule. So the first team to make friends with my people will be safe. Last thing to do so will be up for elimination. So anyways, on, on your marks, marks get, get set, set go. go! Oh good, I can't believe I'm sick. Have any of you seen Jack? I thought he was around here somewhere. Um, he's up, uh, oh my, he's up there. Uh -huh. I can't say I'm overly surprised about Chip getting eliminated. Hey, that's the spirit, Jack. I sure am glad we didn't lose last time. Yeah, you tell me. If I would have lost, oh, I would have been a little bit with, do you know? Yeah, um, Cal, about the last challenge, i just like to apologize for what happened yesterday. Well, it's alright, Ernie. I mean, wait a second. What's that in this? 
guy. Dude, do you guys hear something? Hello, my friends. Could it be? Oh my. Wait a sec. Is that the King Vulture? <laughs> oh my gosh, man. It's been a while. Hello, my friends. I know I last was here on day five. But I want to let you guys know, I am here to... Wait, 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 wait. I thought there was more numbers. Well, about that situation, Kate Vulture. Cruz got disqualified from the competition. Darren ended up getting eliminated from the uh, cooking challenge. McQueen was eliminated. Ponchi was... Ponchi was automatically eliminated because he had a flat tire. So, and now it's just down to us five. And I, I, yeah, it's honestly kind of disappointing. Don't worry, my friends. I would always be there to support you. Wait, and how do you know about the omissions? That's simple. I watch you guys on TV all the time. Oh, well that makes sense. Yeah. So, I just want to let you guys know, I would always be there for you. You would? Of course I would. I've been here for you guys since day five. Let's play the flashback. Good idea. So here is episode 5. Currently has 281 views, 12 likes. And it was uploaded December 11th, 2021. Hello, yes, my friends. It is I, the King Vulture. Yeah, I have to use this because I don't know what else to use. You guys may find a way. Once you find the owl, you will find your way to the treasure chest. Just like how you will find your way to find those space creatures. Wow, I never knew you would see support of us. Well, that's okay, Cal. As long as we try for the King Vulture, we can do anything. Thanks, King Vulture. You're welcome, my friends, and good luck on the challenge! I love that guy. Are you gay? No! Oh, well, that's what I thought. Okay, you guys, so we're gonna have to find whatever Roscoe wants us to do. So we're gonna have to work really hard this time. So this time? Let's work harder. Just like what we did yesterday. Even if we lost last time. But, but that does not mean we can stop trying. Well guys, I think we're almost there. Don Valley. That's where Roscoe wants us to go. Well, it sounds stupid. I don't want to do this. Look guys, I know this challenge sounds awfully weird, but I'm sure Roscoe won't do anything. Well, you're right, Parker. And that's the spirit of us. Yeah, we're always the number one team, and we can't afford to lose this time. I can't wait for it. Are you sure this is gonna work, Parker? Don't worry, Tommy. We're gonna try our best to be friends with those cute little guys. That's right. And don't worry. Because normally, I'm the man with a plan, and plus, the bug brains on the team. That's bad brain! <laughs> oh. oh my god, I think we might win now. Look at that! Well, come on, you guys! Did you guys hear something? Now oh, worry about it. I'm sure I'll be there any minute now. Are you sure this is the right place, Carl? I'm sure it is, TJ. It's what it says here on the map. And the map never lies. That's right. Well, come on, guys. Well, before we got first place last time, we're gonna have to, you know, do our best. That's right. Only do a that one. Uh, Wait a second, a bouncy mountain? Oh heck yeah, I love how bouncy this mountain is. It's so much fun, yay. Alright uh, you guys, is it just me, or am I hearing weird sounds at the bottom of that hill? I think you're right. Yeah, you're at rock. Look team buddy, look how cute those little guys are, Rex. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Hmm, they kind of remind of somebody. What about the pants? Are they friendly? Let's find out. Green space creatures. We come from that campground three miles away in the spirit of fun. Uh, uh, I think they look pretty nice to me. Roscoe, is the challenge going to be a race at some point? Because I have lots of speed right now. Speedy, you'll have to wait soon. I mean, as of right now, heck. You'll have to communicate with these guys. These, they're space creatures, by the way, but... And just because your name is Speedy Comic, does that mean you're fast at all? That's not true. I think my name suits me a lot. Plus, I think it's way better than someone like Donald Jasky, right? Well, you're not wrong, but... It, but well, yeah, he did get eliminated in day three, but oh, come on. It's still good, right? Well, yes, you're not wrong about that. Tino is a true villain. I will say that now. Anyways, good luck, you guys. Eee. That was weird. I'm sure the challenge won't be so hard. Uh, what are those things? <laughs> oh, you see here, Rex? These are the space creatures. And the crawl the thing is, I don't know who these space creatures are. Why'd they move away, Carl? Oh, what well, they don't want to be my friend? Oh, of course they will do. They do that's all. Well, maybe they should. Just go on, say something to them. Now, go on, say something to them. I gotta say, you guys, these space creatures are cool. Well, perhaps I can give it the old college try, even though that was only two years ago, but these space creatures all don't look that bad. Yeah, they look pretty nice. Uh, but, uh, but, but, but Ernie, I, I agree you. Listen, you, I will use these facilities whenever I'm ready, but right now, you guys aren't looking in best shape right now. So get a grip and do something, will you? Well, take it to hell. Uh, Beth, who are these guys? They're like rocket races, but they're sort of sound like aliens. Alright, now listen you guys, we gotta impress those space creatures for our challenge. So does anyone have any ideas what to do to impress them? Alright guys, this time I have come up with a plan. I know it's usually Tommy who makes up the plans, but I feel bad about yesterday's challenge because I was upset about Chip's elimination. But let's go give them a really nice house for them. Heck, there's a kitchen it is literally wrecked, so I think it's best the uh, it's it it it's the best we can do for them. Goodbye everyone, I'll remember you all in therapy. Scarcely what that's not. Did there did Team Breaker already come up with a plan? I think they did, yes. Are you sure this is going to work, Parker? 
Don't worry, Tommy. We're gonna try our best to be friends with those two little guys. And plus, they do look pretty cool. You're right, Reb. Those space creatures are pretty cool. Oh, yeah, Trust me, Terry. It will work. Yeah, you gotta give at least Parker's Square a try. I guess it will work. Space creatures, we'd like to present to you an entirely awesome new home for you guys. Teamwork, Charlie, you are first to fill up. Wow! I'm actually surprised I won for the team. I never thought I had it in me. Indeed, Parker. Yeah, space creatures really seems like it. <laughs> okay, sure. I guess we can do the same thing. <laughs> wow, this thing is lo loads of fun. Come on, you you guys can you guys you're missing on the, out on all the fun. <laughs> Doing. Bing bong. It looks like we're gonna figure out how Rex is gonna be friends with the space creatures. And there it is. So that should be easy. But how? I mean, everyone else likes the butt for Rex. That's an opposite story, Carl. Well, we have to do it. Okay, you guys, I think it's time that we do this thing. Yeah, right. Now, let's see what we can do. Do you guys honestly think that we could pull this off? Well, we could, but it all depends on what. On what. Wait, 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 pause the music. I think the only way we're going to get Ernie to be friends with the space creatures is that we can do they do. Talk like space creatures? No, 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 no. I think I have another plan up my sleeve. Yes! I don't believe it! I gotta say, Parker, you really have improved since Chip's elimination. I agree, Parker. That's a nice thinking you had there. That's a pretty cool strategy. Ah, shucks, you guys. Well, I try my best, but it ain't entirely always easy. <laughs> That's for sure. Oh, sweet. We won the challenge. Man, it, it, it's, it feels good to, to have our winnings back. Yeah. I'm sure we have a lot of real chair proof this time, Parker. Yeah. Behold, Tommy and Parker's. The leader of the leaders of team of team with Yardley. That's right. This many. Hmm. I kinda of remind me of somebody. Thank you, Ralph. I'm glad I'm not the only one that realizes these kinda of remind me of Cal. Well, I was smart. Hey, they actually do remind they actually do kind of remind of me. Greetings. I think these guys really are smart. They say Team Break Yardley has already completed the challenge. We're in the bottom two now. What? Bottom two? But we haven't even gotten there. Wait a second. Um, Roscoe? 
Are we actually in the bottom two? Yes, you are. Team Bright Carolay is just completed. Oh my god! This is terrible, you guys. We gotta do something. They're saying that we can do anything to impress them. Like what? They say they want a statue or some sort of play area. Well, that's no problem. We can do that. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Alright guys, let's get building. Huh? Is this where the space creatures live? Because uh -uh. it's really big and there's a lot of spacey stuff. Even though we're not in space and literally on some hills and mountains. Oh well, yeah, sure, but remember what I said in day four. That was October 16, 2021. Sorry, but well, it takes some time for the process of marshmallows at 740. But don't worry. It's the final day I'll make this, I promise you. Alright, well, actually, you know what, Mari? You're right. Man, October 16th is entirely a difference. That was almost 10 months ago. Uh, well, yeah, I guess you're right. Oh, what? Well, they don't want to be my friend. And here's a picture of my favorite video, Carl versus Chandler. Oh, but I suppose you don't like that either. Rex, I think the space creature said Carl versus Chandler, not me, the one with the K in it. I can't believe this. <laughs> Wait, but where are you taking me? Hello, we seek highly intelligent people, so we have devised this test. What exactly does that mean? Hidden within this image is a clue. Those who find it will be able to continue. Sincerely yours. Thirty-three. Oh, one. All right. So what is this stuff? Um, uh, uh, use some weird stuff. Uh, this is honestly probably one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Weird. It's not making sense. I already give up. Thank you. Thank you. All right. That's the funniest speech <laughs> I've ever seen, man. I don't know, Floyd, being friends with these odd-looking space creatures can be quite challenging, especially for me. <laughs> the space creatures don't like me to say that, Ernie. Plus, look what they think. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! You guys really like experiment! Uh -huh. Wow, I can't believe we almost lost a challenge. Thank goodness the space creatures like my experiment. Oh my god, the experiment. <laughs> Rosco, we're done now. Oh, sorry, I forgot. Team Calwebers, you're second place, so you guys are safe. But I'll have Team Bobby Swift have their moment first. What, those are what space creatures look like? Wow, they certainly look great. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh wait, let me guess. Is this the challenge, Rose Cove? Oh well, yeah, it was the challenge, but I'll let you have your moment first. Oh gosh, deadly darn it! I was hoping it'd be a race because I'm really good at those. Let's see if this race will kick you guys off because it works for me every time. <laughs> what? Oh, come on. Oh, look at that. Go, go. Now that is what I call something cool. Well, what do you know, Team Bobby? These space creatures have some great taste. Thank you. That's a cool language. It's space creature language, obviously. 
Coco. <laughs> I told you my buddy Rex was very cool. And if and if you like the photos of Chancellor and Carl with a K, why don't you see this photo album he made? Go on Rex and show it to them. I think I will. Uh, 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 uh. Smooth moves, huh? Eh, 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 You know, guys, you know we lost this is a lot of what I thought you lived. All right, I gotta say, today was quite the eventful day we've had today. So, Team Rick Yarley got first place. Team Bobby, oh my god, I meant Team. Let's do that again. So, Team Rick Yarley got first place. Team Cowers got second place. And Team Bobby Swift is up for elimination with third place. I know it's been a little while, but look who's back. Who's ready to have some rock and roll time? I know for sure. I am, dudes. Yeah, me too. Now let's have some space creature. Now let's have some space creature fun. Let's take a dinosaur. Wow. You know, guys, although we might have lost the challenge, these space creatures are a lot cooler than I thought, too. I agree. They are pretty neat looking creatures. <laughs> In your face, Team Bobby. Good luck, Team Cow, because you might just might lose next. You space creatures ready to have some fun? <laughs> You know, guys, these space creatures are a lot cooler than I thought, too. <laughs> Make sure to, to vote using the comment section below. Um, so much for Team Bobby Swift to eliminate. Whoever gets the most amount of votes will be eliminating Camp Stalkers episode 12. Thanks for watching today's episode, and see you next time. I really gotta say, you guys, you are literally the best inspiration ever. <laughs> what you saying? He's saying he would like to thank you guys for all the hard work we've done for them today. It really saved him a lot of time because there were way more of us than there were of them. And these four space creatures are known to be the best friends. <laughs> And they wanted to also show us how worthy they are by saying a couple messages.
all. No. Oh, I can't believe I forgot. I forgot to do the last. Oh, 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 all right, all right, all right. In a South the Ocean with Cookie Jar Entertainment. Copyright 2022 for Camp Stock Cars.